Hey there Jammers, this is Ryan Bound from the University of Utah. In this video, we're gonna look at the lasso tool in Photoshop. So let's jump right in. So in the last video, I created the stylized character, an Irish fairy named Alma. And if you remember right, I started with this reference, which isn't just one reference, it's actually three reference images collaged together, and then I drew over top of them. So how did I get to this point? Well, here are the three images that I started with, and then I used the lasso tool to cut them out. So if you come over here to the little lasso and you draw on your image, you can start cutting things away. Now, the first lasso tool allows you to just freely draw on the surface, and it can be really hard to keep a steady hand. So I'd actually recommend that you right click and go down to the magnetic lasso tool. And now when you start drawing or trying to outline the image that you want, it takes into consideration the hue and the value of a pixel next to another pixel. So it almost like it sticks to the surface like a magnet. So you can see how much more quickly I can trace it. I can hold space bar to move the image down, start tracing again. Now, if I tap or click with my left mouse, I can have a little pivot point. And I'm just gonna come down here really quickly and get her shoes and click, click, and come down and click click so anything that has like kind of like a hard transition you might want to click so you don't uh the magnet knows where to go next and it'll actually put a point there and then double click will uh let it continue the rest of the surface and you know that you have a selected surface once it starts animating this line now if you like me, you don't get it perfect. And so I missed a spot and I can add to the current selection by holding shift and then dragging out and double click and it can add to it. This here I need to take away. So I need the opposite. So I'm gonna do alt and there you go. So now that she is outlined and animated, I can do control C to copy. And I'm going to click on this other file where I have my uh, collectible toy, the pop head. And I'm going to hit control V to paste this image in. I'm going to bring it down. And I'm also going to scale this down a little bit. If you're not getting the scale tool, you want to make sure that you have show transform controls. And that will allow you to scale it down right here. Okay. There we go. Now let's go ahead and get the butterfly wings. Now this I don't have to be quite as careful, so I'm just going to use the regular regular lasso, and I'm just going to select this really quickly. And now I'm going to hit Control C and Control V. I'll come over here to the move arrow, and I'm going to go ahead and move these wings down to the back, but they're in the wrong order. So I want to grab, come over here to the layer and I want to drag that to the bottom. And so if the, if a layer is on the bottom, it's the lowest layer. And then this is on top of that. And this is the highest layer. So I'm going to go ahead and move this on top. And let's go ahead and use the magnet tool again to quickly kind of cut this right here, okay? And now I'm gonna hit Control C, Control V, and then the reference image I'm gonna delete. And so now I just have the head. I'm gonna select the layer and I'm gonna move the head into place. I'm gonna scale it down a little bit. and put it right there. 
So this is how I use three separate reference images in the lasso tool to create my character that I um, painted on top of in the previous video. I hope that you find that this process is helpful in you getting your own original characters in game and also getting and removing backgrounds for other assets that you want to put in your next project at the next game jam. Can't wait to see what you make.